Hey guys, welcome back to Woods Tree Farm. It's been a little while, but we've been busy around here and I have a set of tools to share with you today. I'm excited because we have always lots of work to do around here. And when we get a set of tools to try out, we can always put those tools to work. So what I have today to share with you are three pieces from Wild Badger. And these look remarkably similar to some of the cobalt tools. And we have used some of the cobalt 40 volt cordless tools before we use the the cordless chainsaw on our Christmas tree lot. We've used the hedge trimmer on our trees and we've used the pole saw from Cobalt. Today I have a string trimmer, a hedge trimmer, and a chainsaw. So let's get into it. So if you want to get any of these tools, I put some links in this video's description to Amazon where you can buy them. I think all of these can be purchased individually and they also have a number of sets available where you might be able to acquire these as part of a, you know, a set that gives a small discount or something. So if you want to check those out, of course, anytime you purchase through our Amazon links that we put in our videos, that does support the channel here and we greatly appreciate that. So we'll start off today by trying out the hedge trimmer. We've got our battery here. Now I actually ran this for a little while last night, so that's why it's a little dirty. I sprayed a little silicone lubricant on the hedge trimmer blades and we're gonna get back to it. This tool actually has one nice feature. The cobalt that we've used before has the exact same thing, but the handle can rotate like that. So if you need to trim in different uh, positions, you know, either vertically or horizontally or whatever it might be, you can choose the grip position that is most comfortable for you to do that. The uh, safety mechanism on this one is a little unusual. It actually has two different safeties. So one is integrated into this grip here. One is integrated to the handle for your thumb and you have to do all of the or both of the safety items first and then you can pull the grip trigger and engage the trimmer so we're going to trim up some of these leland cypress today like i said i ran this a little bit last night i know it works well so i'm going to show you how it works here Now we're done showing how that works. We'll go ahead and swap the battery out. This set did just come with one battery. And we'll try the string trimmer next. That just slides out. You can see the size of the battery pack. It's sizable. And then it should just slide right into the string trimmer. Now when this came, it did require a little bit of assembly. I didn't film that, but it's pretty straightforward. There's two parts to the shaft and then the string head did need to get threaded on to the end of the power head there. Pretty easy, didn't require any tools or anything. It did come with an extra plastic safety guard that goes around this. I didn't install it. If you use this, you probably should. Just like the uh, trimmer, it does have a safety switch. So there's a thumb button there that I'm gonna have to hold while I engage the uh, throttle trigger.
works well. Let's try the chainsaw. So we swapped the battery over to the chainsaw now. This 14 inch chainsaw has the narrow profile 3 8 uh, chain on it. I've got this same style of chain on a couple other small saws that I have. So that's nice because the sharpeners that I have will work on this. And uh, for the little bit of use that we've done on this battery, it's still showing four, uh, four LEDs are lit up there showing full charge or close to full charge. So this should be a good test. On this saw, there is not um, a, uh, or a tool is not required to adjust the tension on the chain, which I thought was pretty nice. All you gotta do is loosen up on this one here, and then this knob will either add tension or take tension away from the chain. So we can just turn that clockwise to add some tension, turn this one to tighten it down, and now we are ready to saw. All right. So I've got this pile of logs over here. There's a couple different sizes and a couple different species of wood. I figured this would be a great place to do some test cuts and we can see how this thing does. Obviously new chain, uh, full battery. I have high expectations here. So we'll start with this piece of maple. This is about four inches in diameter. So we'll go ahead and just make a couple cuts here. kind of sound like it's sped up i wonder if it like sensed that there was some load on it and it put some more power into it let's try it again <laughs> works pretty good here's some oak a little bit smaller <laughs> that looks good let's try the big piece of oak over here all right there's a bigger piece of oak like this cuts way better than the cobalt electric saw that I have. It feels like it's it's pulling with a lot more power. So that last thing I cut, you can compare it to my hand here, is a good seven inches across, definitely six plus, maybe approaching eight on the longer side here. I think anything bigger than that, you're gonna wanna cut with a bigger saw. But for general homeowner use or light duty use, if you're just cutting branches and whatnot, I think that that saw is gonna work great. The battery indicator was down one notch after those few cuts and after the other use that we did with the trimmer and the, or the hedge trimmer and the string trimmer. So it worked pretty good. You can see on this oak how tight that grain is. I don't know how well that shows up for you, but this was a very dense wood. And uh, as far as a good test for that little saw, I think this is probably it. Could we test something bigger? I think we could, but realistically, if you're gonna cut anything bigger, just use a bigger saw. Thanks for checking out the channel today, guys, and taking a look at these wild badger tools that we got to demo on the channel. If we have anything meaningful about these tools to share with you in the future, we'll certainly do that. But in the meantime, we're gonna put them to work out here and we'll see how they hold up. And uh, hopefully they're just like um, the cobalt tools that we've used in many ways. We've been really pleased with those and uh, we use those all the time. So adding these tools here to the arsenal, they'll get used for sure. And uh, like I said, if anything happens to them along the way, I'll let you guys know. And if we need to engage with Wild Badger support in any way, I'll let you guys know how that experience is. But for today, I'm pretty pleased with how they perform on this little preliminary demo, this little short test that we gave them today. So thanks again. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.